Okay. Uh, from the last video, we got everything organized, um, downloaded software, and now we're actually going to make the art. So let's go to background. Make sure that whenever you're creating a art piece, you're selecting the right layer so that only that shows up. All right. So you don't have to worry about anything else. So long as you cover the canvas, it's fine. So second, second layer. Uh, we can pick a different color now. Alright. Um, orange is good. Yeah. Right. See, so now we have different backgrounds and we can turn things off so we can give some variety to the final art collection all right close that but we'll leave one or just fine uh let's see body we can pick whatever um let's do uh like a skin tone so a little bit of gray uh let's see that would be the head uh this would be a, a tiny little body um arms that's that's pretty much it um doesn't have to be that amazing um uh all right so that we can just honestly redo this layer if you like rather than having to replicate it so delete current layer delete current layer so duplicate current layer Rename it. So just a time saving tip right here. All right, then I'll select oh, body. Select, change up the color. Sweet. All right, duplicate the current layer. Change the name. Okay, I guess lock this one. Can't see it. Change the color here. Something a little different. No, no, that's fine. Okay, then lock it so we can't mess with it. Uh, show. All right, then select it. Yeah, yellow's fine. Okay, now we have all these three. All right, we'll leave the yellow one there. Now we have that one. All right, so body-wise, we're good. Now let's work on those ears. So uh, we can make these of the ears, I guess. So first layer, uh, and we're not gonna duplicate like we did over here with the body. Um, you can if it makes things go a little faster. So control, row. No, let's go a little something. Yeah, like that. All right. Let's select that. Different color. See, change, you can change the scroll. Sorry, the the fill. Um, yeah, we can just leave it like that. It's fine. Just give it some variety. Um, see, fill. Then, yep. Like that right there. All right. All right, go back to layers. Um, Let's not mess with that. Take those off. Um, see, we can pick. I guess it doesn't really matter. It will always pick the black as the fill there. Um, no, it's the 
stroke layer. Um, stroke color, sorry. Um, let's see. Yeah, red is fine. Or we can actually change things up. Let's see. Uh, nice. Oh, yeah, that actually looks pretty not right. Red. Then go to the stroke. All right. Now we have different size ears. Control. All right. All right. So we have three different options for ears. We'll just pick these for now. Let's work on that nose. So, um, you can do something simple like this. Um, change the stroke to the same color. Uh, Select the same color here. Okay. Go to closer. Oh, shift and then to select both. Okay. Then you have a Rudolph nose. Uh, go back to layers. Let's take these out. Lock them so we don't mess with them. Um, do a little square nose. Um, mess with the stroke, change it up here. That was just a single color. All right, and that's good. Um, actually, no, we could do something like this. Yeah, that works. All right. All right, and we could make that our <laughs> nose. Um, let's go back to the layers, uh, unlock this. Uh, let's see some eyes. Uh, we'll do black and blue, something like this. Uh, we can either do the same or we can just change up the shape. Um, See to these, we can add something a little, a little more variety. Uh, select that first. Leave that alone. Yeah. Actually, no. Let's clock out. Leave it alone like this. Go back here. Uh, select white. Oh, wrong location. See, the layer. You gotta make sure you're in the right layer. Lock it. All right. There. And now let's see. Add some more eyes. Uh, we can make square eyes if we want. All right. And there we have our fantastic <laughs> NFT art right there. All right. So now we have three different eye types, three different nose types, uh, ears, body, and background. So from these, we can create quite a bit of different uh, uh, variety NFTs or our NFT collection. Uh, and then we can upload those to Rarible, uh, OpenSea, stuff like that. Um, but I would suggest Rarible because it's like no gas fees. Uh, and I'm sure there's other sites where you can do that too. Um, but yeah, so then let's, on the next video, I'll show you how to export this so you can have your PNGs or your NF, uh, NFT collection ready to go for upload. So yeah, let's stop, let's stop here.